Hi, Steve from Recall Knowledge here. For this Foundry quick tip, we're going to show you how to take more control over your token's movement path within Foundry. Note that since this is a base Foundry feature, it will work in all game systems that require movement. For systems like Pathfinder 2nd Edition, where diagonals can cost extra movement, using this trick will help you to measure the exact movement cost for your strides. For systems like 5th edition where diagonal movement doesn't cost any extra, it will still help in those situations where you want to calculate complex moves through the battlefield. To do normal movement, all you have to do is click your token and move it wherever you want to go. This is pretty intuitive, but there is another better way to move when you want to measure a specific path, and that is path movement. To start, you're going to want to hold the control key or the command key on Macintosh. Next, you're going to click where your token is and start dragging. This will enable the drag ruler tool to show up. Here you can see how far away the square you're measuring is from your character. All you need to do here is to pick the square you want to move to, left click while I'm still holding the control key, and it sets that anchor point. And now you can see I'm measuring from that corner. I can set another anchor point and another one. When you've mapped out all your movement, and you can see my hands are now not holding anything anymore. I'm not even holding control because I'm done mapping my movement. All I need to do is press the space bar and my token will follow that path that I've set out exactly like that. And if you make a mistake in your pathing for some reason, let's say I go here, here, here and go, oops. A right click on the mouse will undo the last anchor point and allow you to fix your mistake. Spacebar engages the pathing. As well, don't forget, while your token is selected, you can also use the error keys for small adjustments for your token on the battlefield. Now with this small tip, you can take full control over your token and make sure you don't accidentally wander into any squares your GM may have put some secret traps into. Until next time, stay healthy and take care. Hi, Steve from Recall Knowledge here. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure to like and subscribe down below so you can get notified of more awesome content coming your way. Also, make sure to follow our channel's Twitter at Recall Knowledge for the latest information. Thanks for watching.